Stay right here. Stay right here. Hold on, sis. Hold on, hold on. Sis. Hold on, hold on. You had to know we was gonna come into. This feels a show. You had to know. This ain't no show. Do it look like a show? I just asked you a real question. No, hey, what's your name again, bro? Roger. Roger. You the man, Roger. You the man, Roger. And guess what? As the man, Roger, you gonna take over the nation. That's your job, but you gotta get your mind right. And it's gonna start by that household. It's gonna start by having the black woman in order. Right? You can't rule and expect to change your community or the nation. The so-called blacks and Hispanics, you can't expect to rule over the earth if that black woman ain't in order. Right. But you gotta get yourself in order. That's you gotta say, hey look, LaFonda, we gonna stop having sex when we not marry. Right. That's what we gonna do, because the Bible says that in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, that marriage is honorable. Teach. Right, you see how that pissed that sister off? I'm glad she ain't pull you away, bro. I'm glad she ain't pull you away. I'm glad she ain't pull you away. Look, she coming to pull up right now. She said, get in this car. Don't get in the car yet, bro. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all. Hey, LaFonda, the Bible says marriage is honorable. This is going to be a, a commitment for you, bro. This is how you step into that manhood that God says you should be. All right, the Bible says take that woman as your wife if you're dealing with her sexually. There ain't nothing brother out here that's dealing with a woman sexually and that's not his wife. Right? Because what comes with sex? Children. Right? And if y'all are doing it unlawfully, not according to the Bible, being married, you're going to produce more badass children. Right? That's what's gonna happen. More children that's gonna go to prison on your account because you're not married. You're not obligated to be there in that marriage to raise that family how you should. Right. That's your job. So it's bigger than just having sex and getting your rocks off. It's bigger than all of that. It's bigger than just coming and all of that stuff. Make it play. It's way bigger than that. Give me that. Give me that in uh, Exodus 22. Yep. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hold on, he ain't going nowhere yet. That man, that man is listening right now. That's a grown man. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Hold on, that woman's supposed to be loyal to you, right? Is she wifey material, bro? What's his name again? Roger. Hey, brother Roger. Is she wifey material? Let's establish it right now. Is she wifey material? Bring it out. Is she wifey material, bro? Is she wifey material? She stay right there. If she might, if she's wifey material, she'll stay right there. That's right. All right, she ain't going nowhere. Right, come on. Exodus chapter twenty-two, verse sixteen. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid, the Bible says this is a law. If a man entice a maid, right, which is what you did to Lafonda, you say, Hey, Lafonda, I think you look nice. I like you. I like your style. I like what you're about. Right, you enticing her. Right, you spend some game to her. Read. That is not betrothed. That is not betrothed. Tell her roll that window down. And lie with her. And do what? And lie with her. And you had sex with her, right? Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Right. The Bible says this man will surely endow you to be his wife. Uh, Shelly, where she going? Tell her to stop that car. Look, when the laws come out, they come running. Listen, read this again. And if a man entice a maid uh -huh. that is not betrothed uh -huh. and lie with her. And lie with her. That's what y'all did. Y'all been having sex, correct? Y'all been having sex. Y'all been dealing, dealing with each other sexually. Boyfriend and girlfriend, read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. You shall surely, for a certainty, endow her to be your wife. That should be, that should be your wife. That should be your wife. And guess what comes as a result of that, of having sex? Children. And after you have children, after you've gotten married, what comes after that? A nation, brother. A nation. A nation. Do we, would you say we got a nation as it stands right now today? We don't have a nation. Would you say, brother? No, we're divided. We are divided as a people. Why? Because the household is divided. Right. That's why. Because we deal with our people sexually and we don't marry them. That's right. That's why. So we're not teaching anything that we shouldn't hear. Right. We teaching exactly what we need to hear. We teaching exactly what's fruitful for our community, bro. Right. I agree with that. Right? You gotta agree with it. The Bible says so. God says so. So look, uh, where the brother go at? We gotta deal with our people the way the Bible says to deal with our people. Lawfully. Right. Lawfully. Now give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Now give me 4 and 6. 
Four and six. Because watch this. Because as of right now, you think the nations respect us as black people? No way. Of course not. How could they respect us? They see us doing all that bullshit on TV. That's right. Like rapping and shaking. I was ass just about to say. Kind of one time, brother, let me tell you. One time we was right here teaching, and guess what her sister did? She came up here dressed half naked, and she started twerking. She started twerking. While we was reading the Bible, the sister twerking in front of us. With no no pride, no dignity at all. Trained that way. Trained by the so-called oppressor. That's right. Right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Uh-huh. Keep therefore. Verse 5. Uh-huh. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. The Lord has taught us statutes and judgments, right? The Lord has taught us how to be, how to go to and fro throughout the earth. The Lord has set us in order at one point in time. Read. Right. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, uh-huh. that ye should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. Right? So at this time, we was at the height of our, of, of our coming. Right? We was at the height of our being. The Lord says everywhere we go, everywhere we touch, we're going to possess it. Right. We're going to take it over. Right? The Jebusites, the other nations. Back then, it might have been the Chinese or whoever. It don't matter who was in the land. The Bible says we were going to take that land over. Right? Read on. Verse 6. Uh-huh. Keep therefore and do them. But when we get there, we better be keeping therefore and doing them. Talking about the commandments of the Lord. Right. So when we have a land, we're supposed to be keeping the commandments. This is how you govern. No land exists without government, without order, without establishment. Right? How can a society thrive without order? Read. For this is your wisdom and your understanding uh, in the sight of the nations in the sight of all the nations in the sight of all the nations this bible is our wisdom and our understanding come around this way brother all right okay okay listen you all right i want you to come around this way so you can see these signs but the bible says this is our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of all the nations right the nations are supposed to look at us for guidance the nations, we supposed to get uh, 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 the, the other nations in order. But how can we do that if our women are not in order? Right. How can we do that if our men are not in order? Right. Teach. Right? We walking out here uh, docile. We don't know who we are. We doing all kind of manners of wickedness. Right. Anything we see, we want to cover it and steal it from our Walker's own brother. Right. Smoking weed. Getting high. Right. Not right. being stable minded. Good. Right? Good. Nothing is good like that. Right? Getting drunk in the street. In the middle of the day, right? Which shall hear all these statutes uh-huh. and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. The Bible says, But surely this is a wise and understanding people if we start to keep the commandments of the Lord. There must be something wise about this. This is something different about these people. Something different about these people, right? Let me give you a law. Let me give you a law. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. Let me give you a law real quick, real quick, all right? The Bible says that we'll be a wise and understanding people, a wise and understanding people. So we'll be separate. Everything that we do will look above the other nations. Everything that we do. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh-huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Let me ask you a question. In our nation, right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Israelites, right? The real Jews. Right. The Bible says our head is Christ. Right. Right? The man's head is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. Who is the head of the woman? Read that part again. And the head of the woman is the man. Who is the head of the woman? Man supposed to be the manager. However, these days she try to take over. There it is. So there it is. My brother got some wisdom. That ain't no damn good. That ain't no That's good. All these LGBs and all that shit out there. That's right. That's right. My brother got some wisdom. All praises. I like that. All praises. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Right. So now, as a man, right, in this Bible, the Bible says we are to be in order. In order to get the black woman, the children, the nation in order, we must lead by example. Right. 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 And the very first thing for my brother, what's your name again? I'm Boyce. I don't mind. Brother Boyce. Brother Boyce. I'm Azariah. Brother Boyce. 
In order to be a leader, we must be able to learn how to, to understand the, the, the knowledge of God. Come to an understanding of what the Bible is telling us to do, right? This is how we repent. We got to get our minds right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.